I think Renaissance is really appropriate in the sense of our idea into go to established mature markets that were lacking innovation and focus your innovation in these markets that desperately needed it. Fast forward and you can see that came to be true. And not only were these innovations necessary, the whole space is getting a revival. And I think Renaissance makes a lot of sense for that. I realize the word Renaissance really applied to what was happening in these markets. What is a Renaissance? A re Renaissance is a revival or renewed interest in something from the past. Even more importantly, it's you know, when we look to the past to gain inspiration so we can create something better for the future. And in many ways, our technologies, our therapies, and our programs are looking to the past, in the case of AVIM, a foundational technology, a cardiac pacemaker. The first one was implanted in 1958. So this is a technology that is 60 plus years old in terms of clinical use. In terms of our virtue program, we're fundamentally innovating around balloon angioplasty. The first balloon angioplasty procedure was done in 1977. So it's a little younger than me, but um, you know, it's still nearly 50 years old as a therapy. And those technologies birthed really their respective markets. And while most of those therapies, original pacemakers and original balloon angioplasty devices have been iterated and have evolved over time, what we're currently seeing is that true renaissance where we're seeing dramatic changes, the ability to take pacing therapy, for example, and then treat an entirely new disease state. We're in an evolutionary time in cardiovascular medicine where new technologies are becoming available to us and more importantly to our patients but we're exploring on new ways to treat old problems. The innovation that's now being applied to existing technologies is exciting. And it's, it's broadening an opportunity to many patients who previously were told they did not have therapeutic options or alternatives.